Good morning. It is June the 22nd of 2024. Beautiful morning here this morning. And we are uh, going to get after this job I've just been to, uh, dreading because I'm never too good at all these uh, uh, jobs that take a lot of repetitive things and measurements are critical. But what we got here is that our brake bands, I got them broke down in two pieces, and you can see they're fairly well rusted and uh, whatnot, but I got them buffed off as uh, well as I can get and chipped and took a lot of that rust off. These uh, mate together here with four bolts. On this uh, side of the band, there's a large hole here to accommodate the rivet to go inside there. And what I was sent for replacements are these blocks, but they have no holes in them. So now I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, measure out each block, drill at least six holes, and in this area I'm going to have to drill ten holes to accommodate the small bolts to go along to mate these bands together. So it's going to be a process. So we might as well get started. These are the rivets that they sent along with it, but I don't have the riveting tool to properly rivet these together. So in all my wisdom, I'm just going to take these particular rivets. Now these are not steel, these are aluminum. So, and I don't know what these are, if they're steel or brass or something or other, but I'm not going to be able to use them. So I'm going to use these because they are the same measurement and I got the tool to put them together. So let's get started, I guess, and uh, see how many mistakes we can make. Okay, there's the first block I've got in place, pretty much centered, right to the edge of the band, right into the middle here. So the first step is I'm going to drill my initial six holes to mark where the rivets are going to be. And I've got them compressed into the curvature with these vice grips. So I think that's going to work out pretty good. So far, no mistakes being made, I'm hoping. I'll just release that. We're going to move over to the uh, drill press where I'm going to drill some countersink holes. And they have to be on... Oh, and I missed a hole there. Darn it. Okay, what I got is a, a brad point bit in here, so it's going to countersink a flat square hole. It's got a little tip there, a fine center, and we're just going to run it down. And I got it preset, so it's going to go through half of the brake block. Just barely touching the, the backing block here with the tip. So we're going to try that out. There we go, we got our uh, holes countersunk into the block, six of them. I'm gonna clean them out a little bit and then uh, push our rivets into place and uh, attach it right to the band. Hopefully that's gonna work out.
I'm going to start out with uh, just driving these two nails inward and then I'm going to get ready I'm going to put the center ones in I'm going to crimp the center ones first and then the out, outside ones but this is just to line things up initially make sure these are all fitting Two middle ones. Okay, I think we got her pretty good. Only one mistake made on this pad. I forgot to drill the sixth hole, but uh, it all worked out. This rivet is not quite countersunk in, but it's uh, aluminum. So I don't think we're going to damage the steel uh, brake drum. But uh, I think she'll work just fine. Now we just got to go ahead and we'll get this one ready to uh, be affixed. It's a little bit different because I got to have four extra holes drilled in it. Of course, that one sucked it up. I didn't have it held down. So now I got it clear straight through. So that rivet is not going to hold. Went right through. Damn. Oh well. That's the way it goes. There we go, we got all our four holes drilled that are going to take the small carriage bolts to go through. And then the six uh, recessed, uh, recessed rivet holes, except for this one, I went and put it right through. So that's not really going to hold anything, but we'll have five out of six. going to do it's not going to come close an hour or a year yeah <laughs> those are uh, yeah, yeah. Those are but it's nice. in there pretty nice it's got <clears throat> it's in there tight i've vice gripped them down and yeah. those are pretty good riveted them in looks good and then i've got uh, some through holes here that will uh, accommodate uh, going on the band oh yeah okay, yeah oh yeah like that so i just got to get some new carriage bolts built uh, and there you bolt go. that band <clears throat> together It'd be just like new hell of a deal it is I had to go to town and get the 7 16th size of uh, this uh, bit. I forget what to call it, but it's going to drill a flat uh, recessed area into the pad. I got this, uh, I got my drill set for to uh, penetrate probably three quarters of the way through the block so this is going to work out quite a bit better I got these uh, 
carriage bolts uh, from town, but I'm gonna have to modify them. I'm gonna have to uh, take off half the size of this uh, head, plus I'm gonna run the uh, stone over the top of it there just to flatten it out, get some more room in between the uh, head of the bolt and the top of the pad. three more times. Okay, we'll just go counter sink, sink that quick and uh, put the last one in. All right, so here we got today's production. We got both of those brake bands re-lined, uh, and I got these here. They're a little long right now, but they're modified bolts to join the two pieces together on each side. I'm going to disconnect them and lay just this bottom section in the bottom of the machine while I put the uh, steering clutches and uh, bevel gear back in and uh, put these back together, clip these off with the uh, angle grinder and peen them over so they'll stay. So anyway, looking pretty good. Let's go have a beer. I'm underneath the uh, army cat here now and I managed, it was quite a bit of a wrestling match, heating it and cooling it and extracting that very long uh, brake adjusting bolt with jam nut on both sides one on this side too they're both pretty bad shape but uh, i got them well oiled and worked and they're gonna do the job for another few years looking in over top i got the bands uh broke apart again i got the top section uh, pulled off of both bands and both slid in and uh, if we can get in here yet yeah, we got them uh, pinned and oiled lubricated a little bit got i got them uh, uh, well oiled and have cotter pins installed both sides they're gonna be all right and those back uh, uh, those adjusting bolts are back right off so the band as you can see rests straight on the dead shaft casting down there. All I got left to do is to uh, throw some zip ties in here when we're ready to put uh, the uh, bevel gear back together and the steering clutches back in. I just tie a zip tie to the back casting, hold that wide open while I drop that uh, assembly in. Works out good for me and then after that we just uh, bolt those sections back together and uh, pin them up in the proper places there. Well, that's uh, going to be a wrap for this video. I've uh, finished with the brakes, got them relined and uh, reinstalled at the bottom of the machine there. So I don't know if you can see it, but it's starting to drizzle on me here. So we're going to cut the video here and uh, we just hope you have a very good Sunday. We'll talk to you later.